Jerry Springer is here with us back at the desk. So let's jump in. Nice desk. Do you like it <laughs> yes. when people correct you when you say words improperly? I never say words improperly. There you go. <laughs> He's got jokes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got jokes. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, uh, sometimes then I'll pretend that I speak another language. So I'll just make up a language. I'll go, Can I speak a bletro? Mazoka bakadna. Pazo, pazo. I have no idea what that is. Because but, just invent an obscure accent. But then they feel really badly, you know. Yeah. What about you guys? Do you guys like this that or? Correct so Burger. it's really yeah. awkward. I want someone to tell. I would want to know if I was saying a word improperly or improperly, as Jerry Springer would say. Yeah. Improperly. Um, but it's very embarrassing to be corrected for that, especially if it's in front of a lot of people. So And it's awkward to correct anyone also, right? So I think the best thing to do is for someone to just say it in the right way, and then you just catch on to it that I way. love it. Yeah. I love it. I want to be told, like, if I'm doing something wrong, because sometimes you, A, you may not realize it, or B, it just slipped your mind, or you just frankly don't know. We all, there's all something that we all don't what's know. What's it like? So to, I, what, what's it like to do something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but I say that I because know. I'm also yeah. a corrector. I'm also yeah. a corrector, oh. like I, because oh. I, I think it's important that you know you get things right. But I also do it like I've been doing it more with my husband because we're yeah. trying to plan for children, yeah. and I want him to speak good English around my family. Yeah. Why? Well, I've been dealing a lot with this in sports. So, so I do a, a sports radio show yeah. here in Chicago, and one of the best players in town is Khalil Mack. But, but forever, everyone was just calling him Khalil. And then he mm. just, he did a video saying, no, my name is pronounced Khalil. So mm. I actually kind of sound like a jerk on the air the way that I pronounce it, which is the way that he pronounces it. And everyone's like, y'all, you're being so pretentious. Yeah. No, the man deserves to have his name said correctly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we had that conversation because I also experienced that with Felicia Rashad. Her name is Felicia, except she just doesn't correct people. She doesn't really care like that. And then there's, but you said Khalil cares. Yeah, he, Khalil, Khalil cares very cares. much about how his name is pronounced. And then there's Chrissy Teigen, who was like, it's actually Chrissy Teigen, but yes. you can just keep calling me Chrissy Teigen yeah. because that's what I'm known as. So yeah, people I guess keep it's person to person. Yeah, people, sometimes people, they just call me Maury Povich. So. <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> when you're a kid, people always ask what you want to be when you grow up. Yeah. So my question for you guys is, what if you would have been, become what you wanted to be when you were five years old, what would that be? Like, what was your dream when you were five? Uh, to be a bus driver. See, no, and, and that is true. I wanted to be a bus driver because I, I, I lived, I was born in England. And right outside my window, we had the double-decker buses that would turn around mm. right in front. And I was just... I just loved that. And so my mom got me a circular tray whenever I was homesick. I would, she would bring my food on this circular tray and I would just play bus driver the whole day. All Aww. I want to do is, is, is drive a double-decker bus. You know what, that, that actually, like, when you first said it, it didn't make any sense at all. And then I was like, no, it totally makes sense because think about how many little boys want to be fire engine captains because sure. of the big, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm still trying to, you know, I've applied. <laughs> I hope Chicago Transit takes me, but wouldn't it be great to get on a bus and it's me? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, hey, put that, in your money. They should that just would skip be a about treat. That. That yeah. would be fun. Yeah. You know, Jerry, a Chicago. lot happens on the buses here in, in Chicago, yes. the CTA. You feel yeah. like you could regulate some of, the, some of the hoopla that goes on on the CTA? Uh, yeah, but I'd turn the cameras on. It's a show. <laughs> it totally yeah. Yeah. I think you just made a new it was show. Just going on the yeah. jam. Well, there is this thing called Judge Jerry. Hey, be sure to watch <laughs> Judge Yeah. Coming yeah. up. Yeah, oh, we're yeah. going to talk all about that. Oh, I'm excited about it. So, talking about <laughs> limited experiences when you're yes. a child, it's just kind of what's around you. I wanted to be a rocking chair fixer when I grew up. Wait, what? what? Yeah, I guess our rocking chair was always broken and it really bothered me and I was trying to solve the world's problems. So that was my biggest goal when I was five years old. I told everyone I wanted to be a rocking chair fixer. I think my parents went and got it fixed and my dreams grew from there. Yeah, there you go, well, there fix, you go. Fix, fix, Lawrence, this, this. I, wanted, I wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, nice. Like I wanted to be a pilot. Like that was, you know, around the time we were trying to figure stuff out and then, and then I realized, like, I can't see. So, like, you need to have, like, at least 2020 and usually 2010 mm. vision to be a pilot. Uh. And this isn't doing that. So, uh -huh. the astronaut thing did but not happen. But you can happen. get that fixed uh -huh. now. Yeah. 
I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually yeah. afraid of heights. I figured that out too. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that that we cannot yeah. fix. There's definitely a lot of height being oh. an astronaut. All right. So let me, take me back to Morgan Park. You're five years old. <laughs> What did you want to be? Um, I was going to be a fashion designer, you guys. I was drawing like little sketches. I was going to be a fashion designer. I was going to talk like this and live in Paris. And then I was going to just hold my, I just hold my fingers like this because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> that smoking was in a thing. <laughs> Hopefully it was like a Twizzler or something. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, the Twizzler was a straw, and I was just going to be a fashion designer. Okay. I so, didn't know what that meant. So, so I, I, I got to know. I was drawing pictures. Well, yeah. that, that, that was the next thing I was going to ask you. Like, what were you drawing? And I wasn't good at it, so <laughs> you that didn't, didn't happen. stick with it. Did you ever take fashion classes or anything? No. No. No, nothing like but that. But stylish, it changed. all the this same. This is five years old, guys. A lot has happened since then. Growth. This is true. This is true. Have you heard of this word? It's called sharenting, everybody. You're mispronouncing and it. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Can parents post too much about their kids online? What do you guys think? I, I think that they can. I've actually, like, struggled with this because you see so many pictures of kids online, and I, I, I don't have any kids. I do have nieces and nephews. I do love to see pictures sent to me from their parents. I love seeing that but I don't know if I need to see every moment of every child's life. And I feel like you're maybe setting a bad precedent for a person's life to entirely be chronicled online. Well, Jerry, you see this, right? Like yeah. a lot of people posting on social media, it's all the thing now and from birth, it starts immediately. Yeah, I don't mind, uh, you know, we're grandparents now, not you and me, I mean, my <laughs> wife and I are grandparents. Breaking news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so within the family, we're constantly doing it, but we don't do Facebook or, you know, I mean, I can't do Facebook because where's my phone here? See, I got this. Oh, Jerry, Jerry! A flip phone. Jerry with the flip. Wow. Yeah, that is that That's is the classic. safest way to walk around in life. <laughs> yeah, so we can't do school it. Well, you Motorola. laugh, but I'll tell you something about this. I could be in another state and if I could called you, you could hear me. <laughs> Jared, is it off right now? It's not even on? It's fantastic. No, you got to pay for it to get it on. <laughs> I actually a... talked with a couple of reporters about this, like Washington, like insiders about flip phones versus smartphones, and they keep their contacts in the flip phone because the flip phones don't get hacked. Mm. Okay. So, so you know, you, you use this to, to go on the internet, but you use that to talk to confidential informants and sources and, oh. well, and everything actually, else. What that's kind of exact. friends you got, Lawrence? I, I, yeah, got, I know some investigative <laughs> reporters. Yeah. What were you gonna say? No, that's exactly what I use this flip phone. I seriously, I use that for phone calls and uh, the uh, iPhone or whatever, I just use that for emails. Jerry, let wow. me tell you, in the hood, we call that phone a burner phone. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. A burner phone. So do what, you have something else you wanna what, share with what, us on what, the show? What, what, Another uh, kind of life that you're living. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm living, I've lived, you know, a lot of people think I've lived too many lives, so I'm, I'm retiring my lives. <laughs> I'm, at some point, I think we're all, we're all going to get to a point, like Jerry, like we're going to go back to the flip phone because yeah, of the privacy. I agree. I think this might be oh, solving I, the world's problems right now. We're yeah. all addicted to technology. We need to just be like Jerry Springer. And yeah. get that's, that's something we need to be like Jerry. Yeah. Oh, what would J WWJD, yeah. what would yeah. Jerry do? <laughs> we <laughs> know what it stands for now. <laughs> yeah. But if, right. if everyone were like me, There'd be no heaven. <laughs> Jerry. I mean, all of a sudden, there'd be, oh, there'd be a lot of vacancies. <laughs> a lot of vacancies in heaven. All right, a lot oh. of room being like Jerry yeah. up there.